are down in Weymouth at the moment. We've come away for a little two night break and we're trying out our new tent. We brought a tent because we wanted, we want to go to Disneyland Paris next year. We want to do a couple of trips with our annual passes. So, um, so we brought, invested in a tent at the end of last year in the sales and we got one of these air ones. It's the High Gear Horizon 400, I'll link it down below. And um, yeah, we're just trying it out. We've got it set up, we've got the ground sheet pegged out and we've got it pegged out. And we're just um, just about to start blowing it up. Mason's, oh, Mason's actually doing <laughs> He's made a start quite well. <laughs> I'll turn you around so you can have a look. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, the nozzle's come out. <laughs> Oh, so we went <laughs> camping last year. Oh yeah, I've we went. Got yeah, Smith has got prime. We went camping last year in Trevor's old tent that you used to have. Uh, there we are. Sorry, I had to help for a moment there. Um, yeah, we went camping last year. And Trevor's old Van Gogh tent that he had. It was literally about 20 years old. We'll go over the toilets. Right. We'll come back to you when we've um, got this up and got our setup all done. We've even got <laughs> we've even got <laughs> we've even got a toilet tent. No, we're going to have a look at the toilets over here. So where are we with the porters? Portersham Dairy Farm. Portersham. Yeah. Portersham Dairy Farm. So we've got a semi service pitch. So we've got a water point right by us and we've got electric. I think it's 10 watt, I think. Um, so, Mason, don't kick stones. Don't kick stones. Because I said so, that's why. Um, so we're just going to have the toilet box. It's like they're being cleaned at the minute. We're going to the toilet. Going to the toilet. <laughs> so it's quite a small campsite, but it looks really nice. And the uh, the pictures are uh, not like waterlogged at all, considering how much rain we've had. We were watching some YouTube videos on it, and apparently. A lot of these caravans are here all year round. People pay for the permanent pictures. There's a lot of caravans here. There's about five or six tents. Hello. Are you done already? Oh God, right. Mason's off down the slide. Here's Basingstoke's answer to Bear Grylls. <laughs> so it's a few hours later. The moon looks I'm in my really snoody. Close. We've all got matching snoodies, by the way. <laughs> Can I show you the moon? I'm in my snoody. Uh, right. We're looking in a minute. Really so we've cool. cooked some fajitas. Mace, put your shoes on if you're going to go outside. Because the floor's wet. Mm. Doesn't listen to me. Um, so we got the tent all set up. That took us a couple of hours. What and then it? getting the tent up and then we popped out to Tesco's and got some yeah. dinner we cooked some fajitas and we've got some eaten mess Guys, for pudding right now. Um, so I'll show you around the tent Guys, look at the a little moonlight. bit so okay so we're using the side entrance here so we've got the we've got the van out there oh we've also got a toilet tent so we've got a little chemical toilet we bring with us. So I've put a mat because people aren't allowed to wear their shoes in my tent. So this is so this is the Horizon 400 Nightfall. So it's got the blackout bedrooms. Um, so we'll see how good they are. But this is Mason's bedroom. He's mucked it all up, but it was tidy. So he's got a, over there. He's got a little power bank. Um, that we, well actually I charged up in my car I charge it up in my car from my cigarette lighter and um, 
and yeah, and, and that'll last him the three days charging his iPad, his phone, his earphones. So that's his bedroom. We got a little storage area there. This is mine and Trevor's. So we've got two single blow up beds. Um, Trevor's got a sleeping bag. I've got a duvet because I get claustrophobic in sleeping bags. <laughs> I have to have a, like, a foot sticking out or something. Um, so, oh, I brought this for Mace. Uh, this was like £15 from the range. Just give him somewhere more comfy to sit. And of course, we've got all got our blankies with us. This is an Ikea, well, it said a pop-up wardrobe, but it's not exactly pop-up. It has got rods inside, so, but. <laughs> so, we've got all our hanging stuff. And then just down the bottom, well, we've got some towels and we just put, pop our pants and socks down in the bottom down there. Uh, and it's really handy because it's got these little hooks on the side for coats. And then the other side, I just popped the dirty clothes bag. So we've got the tent carpet. This is actually um, from Trevor's old Outwell tent. So we've actually folded it in half because his Outwell tent was huge. So we folded it in half, which actually is actually quite good because it's we get just a double layer and you can really tell the difference. So out in out in the kitchen area here, it's uh, it's just got a ground sheet there. But in here we've got a ground sheet, then the tent material, then two layers of carpet, and it really does make a difference. So we've got to put our we're gonna put our wind stop up. We've got a burghouse, so that's new, we brought it um this year. And then just go through into the kitchen bit. So this bit is only semi enclosed because it's not got a sewn in ground sheet. But this is bit oh this all opens up. So this bit comes right off and if it was summertime we'd have this whole bit open. That buzzing is um Trevor's got the drone up. <laughs> I hope it doesn't crash it into someone's caravan. A um, couple of, all this stuff was from Go Outdoors and we got it in the end of season sale last year, like last September. These are the high gear and these are really comfy compared to the cheapy ones we had last year. Little table there. And this, oh this was actually off Amazon. This table, so it's got it's really handy because it's got a little storage areas for food to keep um, keep the food off the floor. It is quite heavy though, but um, it doesn't really matter to us because we all always have the van with us. There's the washing up waiting to be done. So we are at, see that? There we are. Port is some um, dairy farm campsite. And it's really lovely. The lady that runs it has just given us this book. It just tells us what's going on in the local areas, what's available. She's even put, let me try and find it. She's even put, oh, there's a little map there of the campsite. Where is it there? Oh look, they've even got QR codes for the Wi-Fi. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. They've even got the um, the postcodes for all the big supermarkets that are nearest. Yeah, that's a really handy little pamphlet. That's lovely. I can't remember how much we paid. I think it was about twenty pound a night. I think, but that we are in kind of well, it's just at the start of the summer season. quickly show you our lights that we've got up. They're just some cheap string lights and we got oh right little light there and that light actually does like three different light settings and this gives us plenty of light. 
campsite has got these electric bollards and it recognises your number plate and lets you through. It's very clever, isn't it? seafront now and it's a real old-fashioned like you Victorian seaside resort beautiful yes, Borden. Borden's yeah. beautiful buildings Borden. <laughs> beautiful boarding yes uh, so we're gonna find somewhere to park up Can we go in the and water? then we're gonna adventure like mate you really won't want to go on the water oh look Mesa's um, rides down there. Yeah, rides. We have parked up in the pavilion car park and for 21 hours, I don't know, well it's not 24 hours, but 21 hours, um, it gets you, it's six pound. So they do four hours and then it jumps to 21 hours. Hmm. How beautiful is it today? How blooming lucky are we with the river? <laughs> oh, wow, look! Why would you be there? How did they make that? Incredible, aren't they? The detail. Where'd they? I've been made to go on this. Oh, 
<laughs> We're coming for a Starbucks. Heist has got a Kit Kat and hot chocolate. Trevor's got a baked bread tart. <laughs> I've got a salted caramel frappe and a Starbucks, uh, not Starbucks, Costa, <laughs> are doing a biscotti Rocky Road. Looks epic. Minga. <laughs> Farties. <laughs> oh, mate, look, we got Wonka bars. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, they're candy. Oh my god, nice. Look at the giant worm. Oh, look at the giant pickles. <gasps> giant oh, jelly baby. Oh my god. No, leave it. No, let me have it. You said. Oh, no. Can you have some? Mason has just won. Out of tickets, can you attend them? A thousand <laughs> tickets, and it's run out of tickets. So we just had to get someone because the machine ran out of tickets. But this is all Mason's tickets coming out. He got the jackpot. He got the crowd going across the bottom, that one. <laughs> oh, they are around the other side as well. Just having a go on the good old 2P machines. Show us your stash, Mace. Is that what he got? Fine. My car. <laughs> Is that all of it? Yeah. Had a little go in the arcade. We're just having a little Watch wander this. down Watch the this. promenade. Watch this. Hello. <laughs> Mason's got his uh, little stash that he's won. He got uh, the uh, prime key ring. We'll show you when we get back, which is quite cool. Yeah. The sun's out, but it's a bit cold. Here we go. You actually do pretty high up. Excited? Yeah. Is it going to be like the Velocicoaster? Yes. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. Just like the Velocicoaster. Here we go. Here we go. Vlogging camera when they went 
on their last is it P&O I think they went on the new P&O ship I let her loose on my vlogging camera and um, oh, the... she came back with was footage of the ship in the yeah. background with her going, and there's our ship. And there's our ship. Nothing about what happened on the ship at all. The whole week's holiday was about 10 minutes long. <laughs> and look, there's our ship. It is on my channel. I did put it up there. <clears throat> it's low. Uh, it has had about 600 views, I think. <laughs> right, we're nearly at Portland. find a nice spot it's a bit too cold to eat fish and chips outside so there's a restaurant there uh, they probably do take away there do you want to jump out and go and see so we're gonna go in to the lighthouse it's open for another hour it closes at 4 30 i think it was 10 30 till 4 30 um monday no saturday to Thursday. So we're going to go in. It's about £8.50 a person, an adult, and I think £6.50 for kids. Let's have a look. Did you get off the books? So the lighthouse, you can go up it on tours. I'm just getting himself a coffee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on the four o'clock tour. Wait, so when's four o'clock? Uh, 25 minutes. Oh. They've got a visitor centre here and a gift shop, of course. <laughs> These are nice, aren't they? Look at these. That's what there is to do here in Portland. Oh, there's the cruise terminal. So that's where we're going to be coming to. So where? Oh, we're right up there. Oh, the cruise terminal is right down there. Yeah. So it's what you can see as you come in. A little bit. Today is going to be a bit fuzzy. We'll be taking turns. And obviously, we get smaller if we get in the So, if you have the luxury of space, please enjoy your luxury of space. Found a bit more. Let me know what you can see out at sea. Having a good 
So Mace and I are just having a walk down to the, um, the, moon the little shop they've got down here. They've got a few vending Look machines and a fresh milk machine. Look at the moon, guys. Mason's obsessing about the moon. Hang on. Let me show you. Currently, can I see it? Currently, it looks very close or something. <laughs> so we're just walking up. We are. These are where the tents are down there. Mason. So a lot of these caravans, uh, people pay for it to be here the whole season. Do you think they'll be a beautiful night sky? Yeah, probably. Just walking up. And it's a clear night as well. So we have got the cream egg Ooh. milk. Right, mind me. There it is in there. Wow! Right, we're going to get it out. What you do is you buy the bottles. The bottles are in the vending machine there. You buy the bottles and then you kind of stuck. <laughs> grab the milk stuck. from here. Right. We are back in the tent and we're just this is our setup at the minute well we're both wearing our snoodies <laughs> <laughs> that's our bedroom in there looking all nice and cozy and this is what we're doing the camera didn't you instead of turning it back <laughs> we've got you pressed a button thinking it would <laughs> no, I, no i didn't <laughs> <laughs> So, we've got the iPad <laughs> sat on the toilet at the minute. <clears throat> That's a new one. An television iPad. stand, isn't it? Television stand. It's a lovely television stand. We've got a heater going. And we're talking really quietly because Mason. Oh, yeah. Taylor has actually fallen asleep. It's actually fallen asleep. We can't believe it. Which so, like... uh, yeah, we've just been, we've just had strawberries and cream and we're sat watching a bit of Catherine Kay. On, on the loo. loo. <laughs> right, signing out for tonight. We are going on the way home tomorrow. We are going to look around some motor home, motor homes, motor homes. Show you what a good time looks like You can't do better